If you have any sort of weaknesses and you come here, if you have any sort of demons and you come here, New York City is going to bring those out of you. So right now, I am packing up my apartment. I'm going to be moving out of New York tonight. I have a subletter coming in today. And uh, just another part of the journey. I mean, it's been an absolute dream come true to live in this city since August, since quitting my job and since coming back from Columbia and just being able to do work that I love every single day um, has just been the greatest thing and, and primarily because I know how frustrated I was in my previous situation and I know how good I feel now and I truly want other people to experience that same feeling that I have every single day when I wake up and I'm excited and I can't wait to dive into my laptop and and just get to work because I love the work I'm doing and I, and I love the impact that I'm able to create in, in the lives of other people and it's addicting and I know that there's so many people out there who are in the previous position uh, that I was in and, and so that's why I'm shooting this video, that's why I shoot all these videos, that's why I create all this content um, to just serve that type of person because I'm there with you, I feel your pain um, but anyways I'm leaving New York and it's a bit bittersweet. I have some amazing friends here. My roommates are amazing. Um, and socially and, and just kind of the friends that I have here are, they just can't be beat. You know, I know I'm not going to get that anywhere else in the world, but it just makes sense for me to leave right now because there's a few things that I have to get in order to really create the impact that I want to create. Um, and again, when I went down to Columbia, I went there to figure out what it was that I wanted to focus on. And I found that thing, and it's different hunger, and it's something much greater than myself. So that creates a great sense of urgency in everything that I do. Um, and at the beginning of this year, a lot of things kind of came to the forefront that made me realize, you know, I have to get some things in order. And that's part of the reason why I love New York City, and part of the reason why some people hate New York City is because if you have any sort of weaknesses and you come here, if you have any sort of demons and you come here, New York City is going to bring those out of you. Um, and for me, you know, I'm not addicted to crack or anything crazy like that, but um, I started the year in, in some debt, which I'm still paying off, and I'm going to be paying that off um, in full before I go to Columbia around mid-March, so um, about a month from now. But basically, I started the year off in debt, and um, it was a big realization for me. It was, look, you know, I'm trying to promote a lifestyle that tells people, like, look, you can follow the things that you are most passionate about and turn that into a career and turn that into an income and turn that into a lifestyle that allows you the freedom to live and do the things that you want to do. But here I was starting off the year in debt and um, it just, I felt a bit like a hypocrite because, you know, I'm, I'm still on my journey. I'm still grinding and hustling and trying to make things work. But again, different hunger, it's much greater than myself. And, you know, I have to hold myself to a higher standard. And so when I started off this year in debt, it, it made me realize a few things. That one, I need to get my finances completely stable uh, to really have the impact that I want to have. And I need to get them stable as soon as possible because I'm not going to be able to have that impact until my finances are stable. Um, and this brings me back to... Um, a key takeaway that Stephanie O'Connell, personal finance expert, shared in our interview. She said, pursuing your passion is a luxury, and in order to afford luxury, you have to have your finances in order. Um, so that was one realization. Another one, um, I need to be operating at just a super high level at all times. My productivity needs to increase. Um, I'm working with my business and performance coach right now to systemize uh, my life pretty much and just make sure that I'm operating at a high level without even having to think about it. So I'm leaving New York City, I'm disconnecting from a bit and I just really am refocusing, just really trying to get myself in order so that I can add as much value to the lives of other people as possible. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at right now. Um, I'm, I'm excited, I, it's just another part of the adventure, another part of the journey. Um, I don't know what to expect, but uh, I'll be moving home for about two to three weeks uh, before I move back to Medellin, Colombia. So, 
super pumped about that. Uh, just getting focused and also still having a good time, you know. It's so important that ambitious people like myself and like you who's watching this, that we take a step back from our kind of constant future focused mind and our future focused goals and, and take a step back and just live presently and appreciate every moment. I am so pumped about the rest of this year and what 2017 has in store for not only myself but for different hunger and everyone who's associated with that. I'm going on the record now to say that this is the year that Different Hunger will become a proper business. It's going to be a global media brand. It's going to be impacting people all over the world. I'm going to be releasing all different types of content, products, and a lot more. And I have it all mapped out, and now it's just a matter of execution. So I'm so pumped about this. I've literally been waiting for this my whole life. And again, it's just been a crazy, crazy journey. Um, and I thank you all for following along and, and supporting me on this journey because without people like you, without people who, who tell me that, Matt, I watched your video, it really inspired me, or your email gave me the confidence I needed to quit my job. I mean, those are just insanely powerful messages and, and support that I get from people all over the world. And it's just an amazing, amazing feeling. And, and so I can't stop. I'm not going to stop. but. Again, this is the year Different Hunger becomes a business, uh, so a lot more coming, so be sure to subscribe, be sure to share with friends if you're enjoying this content, and I will catch you very soon. Oh, this is a different hunger.